Welcome back to another week of Mortgage Matters and Minutes. Again, I'm your host, Brent Rasmussen, owner uh, of Mortgage Specialists. And today we're going to talk about uh, divorcing and home loans in regards to a divorce. And while I know this is a very sensitive subject, I can tell you from experience, I've helped hundreds of clients go through this scenario, including myself. So I feel I can give some great advice and some information. And here at Mortgage Specialists, uh, I happen to be a certified divorce lending professional which is a national certification, understanding the laws, the accounting, um, the reasons, and the guidelines behind lending uh, going through a divorce. So I'd love to give you some guidance here today if you happen to be having some questions. And I know many other lenders that uh, are asked about doing divorce through, uh, doing loans through the divorce, come back and state that they are not able to or it's not possible. And I can attest to that's not always the case. And we've helped many clients go through this particular scenario. So first, why is it a challenging aspect? Is because when you're divorcing, you're separating uh, a couple into two individuals with their finances and their legalities in simple terms. So generally when people are communicating and calling us for many different reasons is that they need to take a party's name or a spouse's name off a mortgage loan or maybe off a property itself. And there's many different ways and there's many different situations that some people connect with us, maybe before their divorce is finalized, while the divorce is occurring, and maybe after post-divorce. So there's different time frames and different positions on when we might be able to help or assist with uh, many different things that occur with home loans. So the biggest occurrence that we run into is that two parties' names are both on a mortgage loan. And if you're divorcing, a spouse is going to require the other party's name, the other spouse's name to be taken off. And that can be complicated. That can be simple. If you have a very good credit income and situation, it can be very uh, possible to do. And the biggest question people turn around and ask is, can I do this while my divorce is pending? People aren't always aware that a divorce is a pending lawsuit. So when we go through a mortgage and we pull title insurance, it's going to show up that there's a case litigation pending, and that divorce is that particular situation. So the simple answer is, can I help uh, or can a loan be done while a divorce is pending? And yes, it can be. It depends on the situation, depends a little bit on what's going on. But the reasons why lenders don't always like to do these scenarios is because they're unsure of what spouse is going to be awarded what liabilities, or they're going to be uh, unsure about which spouse is going to be handling child support or alimony or how their financial situation is going to differ throughout the process. And that's why it makes it very challenging for lenders. But we do understand that. We've been through this many times, work with many divorce and family practice attorneys here in the Omaha area. So generally, there's three different scenarios we help clients that are going through a divorce uh, or after divorce or before considering divorce to make sure uh, everything is tackled. One is the simplest we just chatted about is that an individual wants to just do a simple refinance to take the other party's name off. They agreed to a price, maybe um, they don't need any equity back of the property and just need to change uh, the loan from husband and wife to maybe just husband or maybe just wife. Uh, if the divorce is still going on and it's not completed, the other spouse still needs to stay on title, which is the ownership of the property. Where we're looking at two different things when it comes to home loans, who is obligated to pay the loan back and who is the party that owns it? Because in Nebraska statute, uh, we can't take spouses' names off of title. It's just not allowed due to uh, marriage trumping titling in the state of Nebraska. So what that means is if we refinance and take Mr.'s name off the loan, Mr. and Mrs. still stay uh, on the ownership to the property as an example. And then after the divorce is finalized, Mr.'s name would then obviously come off with a quit claim deed. So that's one scenario that we look at. It's very, very common. The second scenario is, well, hey, we agree to a price and we have lots of equity, which all equity is, is the difference between what the property is worth and how much is owed in loan balances. So if the house is worth $300,000 and there's no loans, then spouse one would gain $150,000 from a sale and spouse two would gain $150,000. We would split that down the middle. So a lot of times maybe an example comes to our office that the property is worth $300,000, but they have a $100,000 loan. So that means there's $200,000 of equity. 
And what we're looking to accomplish there is to give one spouse the $100,000, which would be 50% of the equity, to be able to use and do what they want with it. Generally speaking, one of the spouses might want the money of the equity to turn around and use that towards a down payment on a new property. And many times we work with clients that are getting along during divorce. If it's a uh, fighting, uh, contentious uh, issue or divorce, there's no way we can make these things happen because both parties have to agree to the terms and come in and cooperate and sign while the divorce is being processed. But if we turn around and do a cash out refinance and award that person uh, the money that they can pay out to their spouse, they can then turn around and maybe uh, vacate the property that they're living in and get to somewhat of a neutral uh, housing situation and maybe negotiation helps that divorce move forward. That's just another example. The third is, can I purchase a new house while my divorce is going on? And that also is a very common question because like we just chatted, once we get the cash out from the refinance for one of the spouses that's vacating the property, they can turn around and use that money to buy a new property. You know, the one thing, again, we can't control is while the divorce is still in place, the other spouse, again, in the state of Nebraska has to come in and sign. So yes, you can buy a property uh, if you are okay with the other spouse being on title, but if you still have the previous property and there's two properties that are in existence, you both are going to be owners on each other's property. So generally speaking, at the end of the day, when the divorce is finalized, the judge signs the decree and then 30 days expire, you both sign a quit claim deed that removes each other's name from each other's title. And then at the end, when the divorce is all completed, you're left with both having your own house and both having uh, the loan in each one of your names. I know divorce can be very complicated. It can be very stressful. And one of those things that happens during a divorce is finances can be some of the most stressful times and uncertainties. Maybe one spouse uh, handled all the finance and one spouse wasn't really aware of what was occurring. We love to sit down with clients and go through budgeting, go through numbers to make sure they know their answers and what's available to them because it is a very delicate situation when it comes to family dynamics, children dynamics, emotions, um, and financial changes going on where all of a sudden you went from two incomes down to one income. And we can help guide you through all of those scenarios and all those steps and give you what you and your situation are able to do or just a phone call away at 402-991-5153. Or you can check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram to find out our website at mtg-specialist.com to read more about different options in regards to divorce uh, loans and divorce lending itself. So I'm Brent Rasmussen and I hope to uh, talk with you here very soon. Have a great day. Thank you. Mortgage Specialists. Driven. Trusted. Reliable.